What are the basic string operations in C sharp? Let's go through them go quickly. First is concatenate. Two strings can be concatenated either by using the concat method or the plus operator. See here is the code and the output. Second is replace function. It is used to replace a string with another string. See replace method will replace one with two in the string and then this is the final output. Another important function is trim. Trim is used to trim the white spaces from the end of the string. Here is the example. Another contains. Contains methods check if a string contains a pattern of a string or not. In the example, if a string contains test, which it is right, then it will return that's uh, then it will return true. That's all about some of the important methods of a string. Here is a very good question about uh, strings. What is the difference between a string and a string builder? When to use what? Let's see the example first. Here we have one string str1 and then we are manipulating str1 and adding some more string to it, right? Now from outside it looks like str1 is the same variable and only the value has been changed. But here is the catch. First str1 was a different string and this new str1 is a completely different string in memory. So both these strings are different and occupy different memories in, pro, uh, in memory. Okay. So basically this is immutable. Immutable means uh, which can, a thing which cannot be changed after it is created. So when we try to change this string, it, it is not changed. Instead, it is creating a new string, right? So the short answer is a string is immutable in C sharp. Okay. Now, every time you will assign some value to a string, it is basically creating the new string. Now, let's see the string builder. So here is the example. See here, str2 is a string builder object. Now, if I will append some value in it, then in the memory, no new string will be created. Rather, only the first value, the first string is updated, modified, the same string. So we have only one string in the memory and we can keep changing it with the help of the string builder. So the short answer is string builder is mutable, mutable in C sharp. That means if any manipulation will be done on the string, then it will not create a new instance every time. I hope now the difference is clear. When to use a string and when a string builder in real applications. Here is the code of the string and here is the code of the string builder. The answer is if you want to change a string multiple times, then a string builder is the better option from performance point of view because it will not create the new string every time. And like in the memory also, there will be only one string. The same string will be updated. But, but, but if you have a string which is updated only once or twice, then you should prefer a string only because a string is lightweight as comparison to a string builder class, which is quite heavy.